Hey everybody, it's your girl Tennessee Noah. Yeah, I'm back. You know, I had to do my thing with my um, my church. And uh, if some of y'all didn't see my live, I was doing a fast for seven days with my church. And um, yeah, it was a, a good healing experience, you know. It was fasting and praying for one week. And so from that, I had to refrain from something. One, you had to pick uh, what you wanted to refrain from. And um, um, if you don't know me, everybody who knows me know Tennessee North love to shop. And one of my places I love to go in is Walmart, Sam's, Walmart especially. I don't know, it's just a habit of going in there. So I decided that for a whole week, I wouldn't go to um, Walmart. Wasn't going to do any shopping. Stayed at home. And the other one was, I wasn't going to cut the camera on and go on YouTube, social media. So, and I made it. Yeah. So, um, yeah. So, now, about to give you all those you know, those videos where I tell you it's maybe a little short, but then it'd be long, and you know how I do. Um, so the week before, I shoved a lot of uh, videos together with me cooking because I knew I was going to be off for a whole week. So today, since I'm gearing up, getting close to Easter, um, and will be doing a lot of cooking, so we're going to start having some small meals, you know. So today... We're having stuffed potatoes. Yeah. So, I think I'm going to put some... They want different stuff. So, I think it will be broccoli. Um, with some uh, chicken breast over the top. Yeah. So, let me get these potatoes in the oven. And I'll be back. Hold on. I'm sure y'all know how to bake, bake, bake potatoes. So here, I'm just going to take some oil, just kind of add to the, to the uh, video. I just thought I'd show you what I'm doing. I got a little oil here, and this is some bacon grease. Kind of add to the flavor. And just cover your whole potato. Like so. Hold on. Now I'm going to... Let me wash my hands. So I'm going to poke a few holes in it. Okay, so, got my little knife here, and I'm going to poke holes in the potatoes. You know, I'm going to poke the top part of it. The potatoes smell good, just with the bacon grease on it. Just give it a few air holes. Okay, now I'm going to shake salt all over. Like so. Now I'm going to pop these in the oven for about uh, 45 minutes. 
and I'll be back. Okay, my potatoes are getting ready to come out of the oven. But, um, I don't know what I'm, I'm kind of playing with it in a little bit. Or what I'm going to do. So, here I have some chicken breast. Some sliced chicken breast. I'm going to season it. I got home today and this was in the mail. Kimmy's Creation, uh, yes, yeah, season. It's the garlic butter and herb seasoning. Now, this is not for the contest. I'm just going to go ahead and try it. So, I'm going to use two kind of fats. I'm going to put some butter in there and some olive oil. And I'm just searing these today. Chicken breast, oh, oh excuse me, don't take long to... Um, Doesn't take long to cook. So, I'm going to put a little olive oil in there. Now I'm going to hit it with some uh, there's no salt in it. So I'm going to add a little of this. Now I'm going to add some salt after I get it in my skillet. Add some to that side. And I'm going to put some black pepper in it. So we're going to sear it, and um, yeah, hold on, let me get my potatoes out. Okay, my potatoes are out, and turn the chicken. So I'm going to turn these a few times before they're ready. Let me get the stuff of my potatoes. Okay. I'm going to take my first chicken breast out. Isn't that looking good? Yeah. So, let me get things out and put another layer down. Ooh, juicy, juicy, juicy. And I did cover this up. Hit it with some more of this seasoning. And some salt. Okay, let me get this off, um, the rest of these done, and I'll be back. Okay, so I'm going to make me a little cream cheese 
equal parts Velveeta cheese and cream cheese. I got some butter melting in my pot. I'm not making a lot because don't nobody else want any cheese sauce in there. So I'm going to put equal parts in here. So I got it down on low. And to that, gonna add some of Miss Kimmy's creation in that. I steamed me some broccoli. I'm gonna pour me a little milk in there. Pour me a little milk in there. We're going to put us a little sour cream in here. Got it on low because I want I don't want it to cook fast because I don't want my cheese to stick. I got my chicken breast, the last of the chicken breast in the uh, skillet. So let's let this cheese melt and I'll be back. Okay, my cheese sauce is ready. The last chicken breast. They're ready. So, hold on. I'm going to add some broccoli to my cheese sauce. I had steamed me some broccoli. Now I'm going to add it to the cheese sauce. Okay, let me get this potato open and let's go with it. Hold on. Okay, so let me show you what my result is. Everybody else is eating. They don't want broccoli in theirs, but I did. Look at that potato. Yeah, I put the broccoli cheese sauce inside the potato, layered it with some chicken, put some more broccoli cheese sauce on top, covered it with some chicken. Yeah. 
And like I said, this is not for the video. This is not for the contest. This is just because I ordered it. And um, wasn't expecting it to come. It showed up early. So yeah, this is uh, Kimmy's Creation. Um, garlic butter and herb seasoning. Yeah. Let's give her a try. Let's, you know, let's speak to the Lord. Amen. Amen. And I think I might just sprinkle a little bit on top. It smells good. Ooh, I don't even know which way to go. Broccoli and chicken. Let's get down here and get some potato with it. Some broccoli. I was just running out the potato. I didn't use no purple top. This is all I season with. A little salt, because that's what I need. Mm-hmm. All right, Tammy. Two Tracy eyes. Mm. It's in the cheese sauce. It's in the potato. It's all over the chicken. Amen. Amen. Mm. Kimmy's creation. Yeah, I better go get you some. Mm -hmm. I got the double pack. Mm -hmm. Some told me to get a double pack. Because a lot of time you order something and you go back. And if you like it, you're all like, wow. And then it's hard to get another one. I got two of them. Tennessee North got a shelf over there that's loaded down with seasoning. Over there on that shelf over there, loaded down with seasoning. And that cabinet behind me is loaded with seasoning. I'm going to pan to the shelf over here. 
Yeah. Guess what? Yeah, it's going on my shelf too. Mm -hmm. I don't keep nothing I don't like. Mm -hmm. Ooh. This potato. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah. Can't <clears throat> see no Frank gonna steal you wrong. It's some good stuff. Mm hmm. Three Tracy eyes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's good. The chicken is moist. Real flavorful. You can taste that butter. Mm-hmm. 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 Yeah, it's good. Mm-hmm. Tennessee North drinking water. Yeah, I like that water now. Mm -hmm. Very refreshing. I had to get back into drinking water. Hold on just a second. Okay. You know that phone of mine. It always rings when uh, I got it on silent. But um, it was lighting up. And um, my daughter put something on there where it flashes when it's ringing. And um, whether I got the sound off or not. And um, my baby girl was calling. They know I'm going to answer the phone. If not, they'll call everybody in this house till I do answer the phone. But yeah, yeah. Um, yesterday I was going to post a video, but I left home about ten going to see my cousin. Uh, his daughter came down from um, Connecticut. And we went and had a long visit with him. And um, he had, she had came Monday and went by to see him. And then on Tuesday, he didn't know who she was. But once he we got him to know who she was. He looked at her and he says, I told him, I said, this your baby. You don't know your baby? And he told us what her, his baby name was. and I said, that's her. And he looked from the floor to the top and looked at her. He said, you ain't no baby no more. He had forgot he had saw her the day before. And uh, when me and my sister went in there, he says, I've been waiting on y'all all day. And my sister said, you didn't know we were coming. He said, yeah, she told me you was coming. I said, well, who is that? And he said, mm, he called up some woman's name. I said, no. And she said, I came to visit you yesterday. He said, you did? I said, she had to. You said she told you. He looked at her again. I said, she looks just like you. He says, 
she do, don't she? And then he, like, it started to render with him. He says, where you been? I ain't seen you in a while. Yeah. He was glad to see it. When it came to him, he was glad to see his daughter. And she was glad to see him. So we spent most of the day up there. Yeah, then we came back here to my house and drove over in the neighborhood so she could see her grandmother's house. She hadn't seen it since she was about four years old. Yeah. So, it was a good day. Um, anytime you can, um, you can um, bring a smile on somebody's face and um, when days gone by have gone by and you've forgotten them it brought some joy to him it uh, jarred his memory Yeah. He was happy. And uh, we took him downstairs and we were going to sit in the uh, little day room. They were playing some kind of trivia game. He forgot about us and went on off and left us. About 35, 40 minutes later, he came back. He said, what are y'all doing? He said, we're waiting on you. Oh, yeah. And then like family. He said, um, I'd do anything to get out of here. And after talking to him a little bit, he forgot about that and it was dinner time. Yeah. He's a big spade player. You said something about some cards? No, oh, he get he get grab up, he get happy. He likes to talk mess like me. Yeah. Me and him used to play play partners. Yeah. You gotta be a spade player to know what I'm talking about. And um uh, I hadn't seen her and she was probably about four or five years old last time I seen her face. You know, face to face, but talked to her on the phone. Yeah. And um this being one of my favorite holidays. Resurrection Day. Oh, I remember when I was kids. Oh, my mother be so happy around the holidays anyway. But she especially loved Easter. And now and I think about it, I see what joy my mom had. And I understood it. I didn't then, but I do now. You know that <clears throat> um, a couple of incidents have happened recent to some friends that I know. And um, it, it made me think of Palm Sunday because Palm Sunday, you know, Jesus wept as he was coming into Jerusalem. 
He worked for the city. He knew that when he got there, what laid ahead him, he knew what was going to happen. Now he sent for them to get him a donkey. He says, don't get on it. And it was a, 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 when I tell you these things, I'm paraphrasing. And it was a donkey that had never been rode. So, you know, you haven't broke them. You know they buck and they wild. And he told them, don't get on it. When they put Jesus up on it, he never bucked at all. The donkey knew. The people were shouting. Hosanna. And they were laying palm leaves down. He is who he say he is. And they knew. But there's always those doubters, those troublemakers, you know, get in the crowd. Mm -mm. He's a fake. He's a liar. You know, try to stir the people up. And there's always that ram in the bush, you know. So in the crucifying them. They let these people lead them. So we can't let people lead us. We can't be a, a, a follower. Just because that person did it, then you'll do it too. And if this one was doubting him, See, people follow that kind of stuff. But you can't be a follower. You gotta be a leader. Stand up for yourself. If all of y'all were saying he is who we say he is, and you let that ram come out by that bush, Oh, he's a fake. He's lying. He did this over there. Uh, he, he lied about um, making the blind see and, and healing. And yeah, he's he's a fake. He's oh, he a fake? Oh yeah, he say he fake. Oh, he people do that. They'll do stuff like um. Uh, I saw your friend doing such and such and wasn't true. But this person I know believed him. They had been friends a long, long time way before these people ever come up. And they believed them. The lies. Broke up a friendship. Over some lies. Same with Jesus. Even though the people were shouting his praises, and they knew who he was. See, everybody ain't gonna like you. Mm -mm. Everybody ain't gonna like you. And those are the ones who, the rams in the bushes, they keep up stuff. And so, these millions of people who were believing, listen, to those few 
And then those ones who was believing, still believing, didn't stand up. Mm -mm. They was crucified. Hung up on the cross. And he was a man without sin. And he was hanging up there with thieves. People who had committed. Amongst us humans. Mm -hmm. We were guilty. Hold on. Okay, I'm sorry about that. Yeah, when we know that something is wrong and we don't stand up for it, we're guilty too. As the ones who um, committed the crime, you're just as guilty. Sometimes people go along with stuff like this just to be liked, uh, even though they know something is wrong. I told it to my children, my mother taught it to me. You know that saying that says you're going to lead a horse to water, but you can't make him drink it. Or that saying, if he jumps off a bridge, you're going to jump too. Even though they knew who he was. And they were shouting his praises. They still crucified him. Still hung him up. He knew he hadn't committed a sin. But he paid the price. For those who committed the sin. Mankind. And when we know stuff that's wrong and we don't stand up, we just as guilty. These people I was talking about, um, friendship had been broke up after all these years. Over a lie. And the person who could have straightened it out didn't stand up. And so that was that. Yeah, that was that. All I'm saying is. Don't follow. Lead by example. You know something's wrong? Stand up. Don't let it keep going. Because it affects it like a sore. And, um, it won't get better. Unless you stand up, put a stop to it, it ain't gonna get better. It's gonna only get worse.
the good thing about that was three days after they put him in that tomb, a borrowed tomb, they went back and he was gone. See, he went up to glory. His father brought him on back home. And even though we crucified his son for nothing, for merely coming here to try to save mankind, he didn't hold it against us. Mm -mm. We committed the ultimate sin. Mankind did. Mm -hmm. And Jesus paid the price. But he did it with um, he, he was glad to do it And he asked them Forgive them For they know not what they do How many people can say that When you do something wrong You can go back and tell somebody I'm sorry I'm sorry Not many do. I think I've been guilty a few times of it myself. Yeah. We're not perfect. And that's what that fast and pray did. It was a personal talk with God. It gave you a chance to get back um, kind of renew your relationship with God. Yeah. I'm not trying to throw the Bible at you. But I'm just saying. Renew your... If you don't know him, get to know him. And if you've been away a while, renew it. You don't care how old you is. He can forgive us for anything. And if he can forgive us for that ultimate sin of crucifying his son, you know he can forgive you for anything. In my 60 years, I know I've had to ask him to forgive me for some things. We're human. And we're going to make mistakes. But he knows your heart. But he needs you to confess it with your mouth. These people I'm talking about, I pray they mend it. I thought they had. I don't know. Yeah. So, I ain't gonna hold you and bore you. Not trying to preach to you. Yeah. So, 
If you like anything about my video, give me a thumbs up. Like, share, subscribe. Tell someone about Old Tennessee North. Yeah. Hit that notification button so the next time you know when I'm coming with a video. Yeah. Mm -hmm.